Welcome to In My Elements. Today we're here with Reed and he's going to give us a tour of his 2016 Ram Pro Master which has been professionally converted by Big Bear Vans in Big Bear, California. This van is actually for sale so if you're interested in this van I'll leave all of Reed's contact information down below in the description and without further ado let's check out this van. All right, Reed, so can you show us the exterior of your van? Are there any modifications? Uh, so on the exterior, we have 200 watts of roof-mounted solar panels on the top to help charge the, the battery inside. And then over on this side, we have a 30-amp uh, shore power hookup, um, and it comes with an adapter, so you can plug in a standard wall outlet. Uh, this charges the battery, or also you can just power the electricity if you're hooked up. And then we also have this uh, vent here for the compost toilet system. So it's constantly pulling air out to keep the uh, toilet system dry. That's pretty important. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the length of this is a 159 inch. Uh, you can see here, it fits in a standard parking spot. Uh, so despite feeling like a home on wheels, you can still pull into the grocery store or anywhere into a standard parking spot. Um, and then the other thing with the Ram Pro Masters is the front end is kind of smushed. Pretty much sit right up over the wheels and the turn radius is, is pretty tight for, for a longer vehicle. Well, can we check out the interior of the van? Yep, let's do it. Yeah, so the interior is entirely custom designed and custom made. Um, so I'm an engineer, so I actually helped them design the layout uh, to fit everything we wanted. And then the uh, Big Bear vans built what, exactly what we had as a vision. Um, all the interior colors and uh, design features are all picked by us too. Everything from the cushions, counters, the tile, wall color, everything was uh, picked by us. It's beautiful and it looks really well designed, <laughs> like a really great use of space. So what was the I idea with the van? Like what was the, the purpose? How many people are gonna be traveling in it? Yep, so it's uh, me and my wife and then we have a small dog. So the idea was for us to be able to go hang out at the beach for the day or do short weekend trips, you know, one to two nights primarily. Um, we have rented it to other people, typically couples or single people, and they'll rent it anywhere from two days to seven or more days we've had. So you can stay into it, uh, stay in it long term, uh, but it's really kind of built for that weekend or hangout vibe. This looks like it might convert into like a mini bed. Is that true? Yes. Two? So here's our table so the two of us could eat together. And then the tabletop, if you loosen it up, it drops down. That's awesome. And then the back cushion comes out. So you have a little couch here. Uh, so you hang out here, read your book, drink your morning coffee, and look out the, the big side door. Camped with other people and had two other people come hang out in here. So, you know, someone sitting on the bed, a few people sitting here, one in the swivel seat, had a little uh, hangout room. I've seen Winnebago have something super similar to this. Okay, Is that, sure. Was that inspired by that at all? Uh, I think I just found it on Instagram. Oh, I can't awesome. even remember. But, uh, yeah, we wanted just a little extra seating area and somewhere to kind of lounge you know, when we're hanging out at the beach or, or up in the woods. So that was kind of the idea there. Uh, the van looks like it has uh, a lot of storage. Can you show us some of the storage that's underneath here? Yes, so this one is actually the toilet. Um, oh, okay, smart. So this is a compost toilet that wheels out. Um, it handles both liquids and solids. And despite what you might think, it does not smell. It's a nature made compost toilet. Um, so there's the, the liquid tank here in the front. And then in the uh, back, what we eloquently call the poop chute. Uh, <laughs> so you flip the handle and you fill that with compost medium. So it could be, uh, there's a type of moss to put in there or what we have right now is coconut husk. Um, and basically it just sucks out the liquid, completely dries it out. The vent I showed on the outside is pulling air out to keep things dry and there's no smell. It's a thing of, of magic really. <laughs> And, and people say, you know, oh, I wouldn't use the toilet in the van, but it's so convenient that if we're parked at the beach and the bathroom's more than 200 yards away, we'll just use this rather than walk into the public restroom. So, so 
it's uh it's been very nice very convenient i appreciate that because a lot of people put these in their in their vans and they never use them but yep. it's like that's what it's for yeah so. no we we use a lot and a lot of them are like cartridge or chemical base you have to empty them or dump them this one i think it can handle somewhere between 100 and 200 uses oh wow um and it essentially just becomes dirt so you can take the toilet out you flip that upside down in a trash bag and then you put new dirt in it and it's as easy as that so it's a pretty simple system and it's been really beneficial for us storage here we have one large pull out cabinet here you can throw uh, we would typically throw our duffel bags or, or um, other bags in here for storage so we could access them easily and then basically a dresser here so four pull out drawers um, pretty big drawers with lots of space um, so clothes or miscellaneous toiletries and other things uh, go there in the drawers. So here we have the kitchen with a sink uh, with a fresh water pump that you turn on here. We'll get to the water tank in a little bit. Um, so fully operational sink. Uh, so the sink drains into the blue gray water tank here. I think it's 10 gallon tank. Uh, so typically that could last about a weekend before you have to empty it depending on how much water you're using. Back behind there you can see a propane tank so it's a typical just like your grill propane tank just a little smaller more cylindrical um, so that powers the uh, counter stove here so two burner stove uh, propane powered just like you would use in in your kitchen normal pots and pans uh, and a great view looking out the the side here wherever you're cooked cooking um, and then we have some kitchen storage, so uh, some cookware, utensils, uh, wine opener. This is kind of the, the junk drawer with all the miscellaneous flashlights and knives and lighters, uh, things you might need when you're out in the woods. And then here we have the dishes, so uh, mugs, cups, glassware. Um, we have some plates and bowls a uh, tea kettle here a french press coffee maker and a milk warmer and frother in case you like lattes like my wife does even if you're out in the middle of nowhere she still likes her lattes so in addition to the pantry space uh, for things that need refrigeration we have a normal mini fridge here this is an ac mini fridge running on standard uh, outlet power um, so lots of storage in there and then as well, we have a small freezer compartment. So making ice cubes or other uh, things that may need uh, to be in the freezer. Ice cream, absolutely. Ice cream, <laughs> yeah, always need ice cream. Uh, so that must mean that you have uh, quite a bit of power in here. Do you, can you show us yes. the power system? Yes, yeah, so we can take a look in the back at the electrical system, but you'll notice throughout the uh, cabin here, we have standard wall outlets um, with USB-A, USB-C, uh, plugins and so you can charge anything really the only thing we can't run here is like hair dryers or uh, space heaters other than that you can pretty much uh, power power anything in here so another one here by the bed and then uh, right above here on the the kitchen table a third outlet is there any way to heat the van right now so currently there's not any heating heating system the walls are uh, insulated with havelac wool so you could turn on the cabin heater or, or the front heater, uh, but typically if you close all the doors and an extra blanket, you know, we've camped up in Big Bear in 40 degree weather and you throw an extra blanket on and, and it, the heat stays in here pretty well. Yeah, I guess when you're living in California, you yeah. don't quite need it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a lot of the heaters uh, you'll see in vans don't work at high elevations. So that was a consideration for us. Most of the places we would go, Big Bear, Lake Tahoe, uh, where you'll want heat, are going to be higher elevation so those propane or diesel heaters may not work or work as efficiently so we we opted out of the heater so we have three overhead cabinets here you can see they're custom cut uh, with this uh, rattan i believe it's called um, paneling in the doors um, so this one is kind of the kitchen pantry for all your your kitchen goods and food can go up in here and they're they're pretty deep the walls of the ProMaster are vertical, so you get quite a bit of space in here. Um, and then these back two are typically for uh, your clothes or anything else you need to store. And then we have one more in the back, which is towels and soap for, for showering. That's awesome. That's a ton 
of storage in this van. A lot of storage. Uh, like I said, we were very thoughtful in the design, just trying to maximize every square inch with the seating, storage, um, the kitchen, extra counter space. So we, we try to be really thoughtful and, and functional with the design. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about the roof here? Yep, so we have a uh, shiplap uh, ceiling here so it's the same as the walls but it's just stained kind of a natural color uh, we have two switches to control the overhead lights so two in the front right above you and then we have the four in the back here and you can tell I'm about six foot three or more so I can pretty much stand up full fully and my head hitting with a hat here on uh, but the roof of the ProMasters is one of the higher ones uh, so that was very intentional to be a pro master as well for my height. And then right over your shoulder there, we have a uh, ceiling fan. So this uh, pops open and then you have a ceiling fan and this is dual in and out. So you can pull air in, push air out, depending on uh, what you're doing and what the temperature difference is between inside the van and, and outside. Um, and then we have some additional storage up here as well. Uh, so things like shoes, coats, dog leashes, we would typically use there, but, but quite a bit of storage space up there as well. Um, and then it can all be covered, not only separating the front from the back, but kind of cover up the, the storage there with these uh, curtains. Yeah, so when you're camping here, you're sleeping, you just take this curtain, just kind of cover it up. Yep. Is that how it works? Yep. So two curtains there, just to give you a little bit privacy. Uh, so people can't see in while you're hanging out. Passenger swivel seat here, uh, so obviously can place forward or back. And then we have this uh, pop-up counter here, which can be some extra cooking space for the kitchen, as well as with the rear-facing seat, you can eat here or uh, work. That's here awesome. Here's a little desk. That is super awesome. What kind of um, wood did they use when they made this? This is butcher block countertops. Awesome all throughout, so over on, on the nightstand as well as the uh, table here. here. We have a memory foam mattress. This started as a queen size bed. You can see some of the uh, corners aren't quite uh, square, so they had to custom cut the foam mattress down to fit in the space. Um, you can also see these bump outs here at the foot of the bed, and then the same here at the head of the bed. And that's really, again, just to give a few extra inches of length for, for my height. Um, so it is perfect about uh, 75 inches you can from from head to foot there um, and then comes with the quilt sheets uh, pillows and of course some decorative throw pillows for my wife's liking <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mattress are you using on this bed here um, so it's a memory foam I believe a bamboo foam uh, memory foam mattress okay. um, but pretty comfortable that's really and nice. Typically, we'd sleep up here, the two of us, and then uh, my little dog here sleeping in the corner. What kind of dog do you have? It's a Dachshund Pug mix. Oh, cute. Yeah. Super small. Yeah. That's so awesome. about 15 pounds. But all three of us could fit up here in the bed in a pretty comfortable space. All right. Come on back here. We can show you the back. Uh, so you can see the doors open a full uh, 270 degrees, I guess. Um, so it gives you expansive uh, views. Great for pulling up on the beach or if you're parked out in the woods. Um, so again, we have privacy curtains here in the back. Um, just to, to give you a little privacy while you're sleeping, if you want to leave the doors open. Um, so on the left side, we have all the electricals. So we have the emergency on off switch that will kill all the power uh, easily located there. You can see the back of the fridge with an outlet along the side to plug in that fridge. Um, and then up in here, we have all the electricals. So it is um, 200 amp hour lithium battery there in the front. And then towards the back is a 2000 watt AC converter. Um, so that's what charge or powers all of the outlets with, with AC electrical. So that 2000 watts means it can run anything below 2000 watts. Did um, you wire this yourself or did Nope, so this was all wired um, by, by Big Bear Vans uh, professionally and uh, there's some fuse breakers throughout the, the wiring as well just to protect against um, you know, electrical issues. On the right side here we have the water. So this is where you fill the water tank. Um, it's a 25 gallon uh, fresh water tank. 
So you fill that just with a standard uh, hose and then up in that compartment in the wood uh, casing is the water tank itself. And then you may not be able to see it, but way back there in the back is actually a small electrical water heater. Um, so you can turn that on. It takes about 20 minutes to heat up and will heat um, a few gallons of water for a hot shower, which brings us to the shower. Okay, so here we have a little uh, shower head. Like I mentioned, there's hot and cold water. Uh, to be honest, the cold water most of the time feels pretty refreshing, so we didn't always use the hot water heater. Uh, but this is really just to hose down so you can freshen up. Um, and then I'll kind of show you one feature with the shower. So if you spin these doors uh, 90 degrees to form kind of a box, we have a shower curtain that attaches to these four hooks on the door. And then the same two hooks over here on this side. And so the shower curtain wraps all the way around to kind of fully enclose you uh, to give you some privacy, but then it also covers the inside so you're not splashing water in the inside. So you can make this kind of a, a little shower area fully enclosed and then use this to, to freshen up. What do you guys like to do when you go out? Do you guys take paddle boards? Do you kayak? Do you think like that? Um, most of our trips were relaxing or hiking. Um, so we didn't, didn't take too much stuff beyond what we, what we needed, but yeah, you could, um, you know, pack in some inflatable kayaks or paddle boards, or I think even if you had a bike, you may be able to take off the wheels and, and get it back here in, in the storage space. But there's quite a bit of storage space here for your, your bags and, and other belongings. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people with the Ram ProMaster store a bike right under there, mm -hmm. just like have like a little wheel lock or something yep. up front. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's why we went with the uh, raised bed. You'll see a lot of van conversions that kind of have the big booth seating and the table drops down to form the bed, uh, but you lose out on quite a bit of storage. So we, we went with the raised bed here so we could store electricals, the water, and still have plenty of storage for our stuff. Mm -hmm.